what's up everyone thanks again for joining me to reconcile reality tv tonight i want to talk about forgiveness and god's forgiveness whenever we come to a cross and the forgiveness of our sin and actually that the blood that was poured out for the remission of all sins of all humanity that forgiveness is what i want to talk about tonight actually i want to first look at the actual word forgive what actually the definition of what it actually is and it says it's to excuse for an fault or offense like sin you know it's, it's to excuse it's forgotten forgiven to renounce anger or resentment against it means to basically say like 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 uh if, if you have like someone does something to you and you have like so much resentment or anger basically that, that that's wiped away and the third definition is to absolve from a payment of a debt like say say like someone uh owed you something you're like man don't worry about it it's forgiven and it's forgotten. You don't owe me anything. Don't worry about it. First scripture I want to look at tonight is actually Hebrews 8, 12. And in Hebrews 8, 12, it says, For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and lawless deeds. I will remember no more. Baby, that, 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 that means that God will remember your sins no more. It's completely forgotten. When you come to the cross, your past, present, and future sins, he will remember no more. Actually, all your sins are future sins. Because whenever Jesus died on the cross, I'm pretty sure none of those were alive then. So whenever God's Son died for us on the cross, all those sins that we was going to commit, He was He's paying that payment for future wise, past, present, and future sins. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. And in Colossians one thirteen uh, through fourteen, it says that <clears throat> He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. That means that, that God's son, Jesus, died in our place to wipe away all of our sins. The blood that washes us clean, purifies us. You are no longer seen as a sinner, but you are a saint. You are forgiven. That, that blood that has cleansed us whenever we come to the cross. The cross when God pulls us out of that old sinful life when we are placed in righteousness with god with, with with jesus and jesus lives on the inside of us we are fully forgiven hallelujah thank you jesus you don't have to beat yourself up try to get forgiven you are already forgiven by the sacrifice of jesus christ that blood that washes that 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 that, that we had a debt that we couldn't pay and god Paid it with his son. Jesus paid it with his blood. And excuse me, and in Ephesians 1 7, I want to look there. It says, In him we have redemption through his blood for the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. According to God's grace, his merciful, rich grace, loving grace. We are fully redeemed. We are fully forgiven of everything. And uh people say the uh uh you know they, they 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 bring up that scripture you know and 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 first john 1 9 that, that oh we must do something to get forgiven you know uh, uh, the, it's preached you know that we must do this you know we, we must ask for forgiveness to be forgiven and, and actually when when uh john was writing that in first john 1 9 actually if you just want to turn there real quick i'll actually just read that uh <clears throat> That verse actually says that it says if we have confessed our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It isn't our for, it isn't our confession that, that washes us. It isn't our confession that uh, uh, forgives us because then we would probably be asking for uh, confessing a lot of sins. You know, asking, oh, please forgive me, you know, beating ourselves up. Oh, please, please forgive me. But actually, when this was written, it was actually written to the Gnostics. And um, the Gnostics were unbelievers who, who actually thought they had no sin. And John was basically saying, if you would just forget that, you know, you just confess, you know, and, and, and admit your need for a savior, a savior, that God would forgive you. He would completely forgive you. Wipe away your clean slate. But the Gnostics were so like proud you know like, oh well, we have no sin we're, we're we're this 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 but john was actually writing that to other unbelievers and it, it wasn't written to the believers saying that we have to ask for forgiveness because we are already forgiven whenever we came to the cross when you know whenever we came and laid our life down we're like oh god please save me i'm I, I, 
I'm, I'm a sinner, you know, I need your grace, you know, to be forgiven, you know. You are washed completely, completely clean. Now, now, now it's, it's not to say that, that we, we still don't, you know, confess, you know, to God, you know, like if we, if we mess up, you know, I think it's more of a humble thing, you know, okay, Father, I messed up, you know, but your grace is so sufficient. Thank you for your forgiveness. You thank him for already forgiving you when you mess up, you know, if you mess up five minutes from now, if you mess up 10, you know, an hour from now, three days from now, a week, year, you know, it's just to keep keep us humble, I think it is, is with it. Is with that kind of like relating to us, but it's not the confession that uh, that, for, uh, that gains the forgiveness. We were already forgiven from Jesus' blood, you know. And another scripture I want to look at is actually Second Peter one five through nine. It says, "And to your faith, virtue; to your virtue, to virtue, knowledge; to knowledge, self-control; to self-control, perseverance; perseverance, godliness; to godliness, brotherly kindness; to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things are yours and abound." You will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he who lacks these things is short-sighted even to blindness and has forgotten that he is cleansed, cleansed from his old sins. And they, they say, like, like when, when we lose sight of, of, of that we are already forgiven, you know, that basically we'll, we'll get on track, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll start beating ourselves up. Oh, you know, you know you, you'll, you'll, you'll kind of get short-sighted. But God wants us to stay our focus on the cross of, of what Jesus did, that penalty that he paid. He died in our place. That blood that washes us clean. It, 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 it's nothing that we can do to gain that forgiveness except to just accept it. You know, God sent his son knowing that we couldn't live a holy life. His son, Jesus, lived that holy life in our place that we could just accept that. Holy forgiveness. And another scripture from look at is actually Romans 4, excuse me, verse 7. And it says right here, Romans 4, verse 7. Blessed are, are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Your sins are fully covered. When you come to the cross, they are fully covered and cleansed by the blood of Jesus. You are dead to sin. You are alive in Christ. You are fully forgiven. You are fully righteous. You are fully holy. Hallelujah. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can, you can't confess a thousand times a day to get forgiven. Whenever you are the believer, you are fully forgiven. And, and, and it's not to say, you know, before you are a Christian, you know, before you are saved, you know, it's nothing that, that we can do to clean our clean our, clean ourselves up, you know. Like, like basically, like like you don't clean the fish before you catch them, you know. Hey, uh, a lot of churches think like, oh, you know, don't come in here. You need to clean yourself up, you know. Oh, you're too much of a sinner. You you mess up too much to be in here. No, you know, you come to 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 the church. You come to Jesus to be clean. He you come to Him. He cleans you. You are fully forgiven fully righteous you don't clean yourself up before you come to him that's just ridiculous you come to him knowing that, that you can't do it you cannot save yourself he is the only one that can cleanse you he's the only one that can save you one last scripture that i want to look at tonight will be second corinthians 5 19 and it says Excuse me. That is that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. You were fully reconciled back to the Father by the blood of Jesus. He's not imputing your sins against you. He's not counting their, your sins are, uh, against you, but you are fully righteous. Don't listen to, to a lot of uh uh, preaching about like oh you must do this to be forgiven if you mess up you got to get back in line with uh with uh jesus and you have to get back in line with god you got to pray a hundred times no the actual word of, of repentance isn't about like beating yourself up or doing something it's, it's basically just turning your eyes back on this the back on the the high point that 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 repentance is just focusing your eyes back on Jesus. You know, we got to renew our minds, the Bible says, of the fact that you are fully forgiven. You are fully righteous. You know, we don't need to be sin conscious. We need to be forgiveness conscious. That's what's going to what's gonna bring about joy. It's going to bring about uh, loving one another. You know, you, you know it, 
it's gonna it's gonna uh, not bring on condemnation you know when we are forgiveness conscious when we are constantly con conscious that we are forgiven of much you know we will love much when we are constantly forgiven or constantly focused on being forgiven that we are already forgiven you know we're gonna expound that love back to the father you know and it's still like you know that god just washes that love over us I just want to say that you are fully righteous, you are fully loved, that, that God sees Jesus in you as a believer. You know, God even sees the potential of Jesus in the unbeliever. You know, Jesus paid for the unbeliever's um, penalty just like he paid for all the believers' penalty. That, that you are forgiven past, present, and future. It's just the acceptance of of that forgiveness is, is what saves us, you know, it's that acceptance of that free gift, that penalty, it, it, it's like, say, say I owed a thousand dollars, you know, or, or, or ten million dollars to somebody, and then somebody's like, you know what, Mike, you know, don't worry about that ten million dollars, you know, you d d d don't worry about paying me back, you know, I forget it, it's forgotten, what's done is done, I paid it, or, or, or basically like, like saying I owed that, and someone stepped in and was like, you know, uh, uh, Somebody I didn't know, you know, they're like, you know what, I don't know you, but I'm going to pay this for you. I'm going to pay that person off so you don't have any ties with them, you know. The, the, that debt has been paid. You are fully forgiven. You accepted, and you're reconciled back to the Father. We have that reconciled reality that we are reconciled back to our Father, that we were once um, lost, but we are now found that God swept in and grabbed us. You know, he saves us. He sent his son, Jesus, to pay that penalty for full forgiveness of past, present, and future sins. Not, 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 not that we can forgive ourselves, nothing we can do to earn that forgiveness, but just the acceptance of Jesus' blood. I just want to say that you are loved. You are deeply loved by the Father. You are full of gladness, full of joy, full of holiness, full of righteousness because of Jesus' blood. Have a great night. God bless. Long live the king! Long live the king!